So please, like I said, let's not try to make it confrontational. Yeah. People are going to air views that will probably not be very, um, that you'll probably find offensive. But try as much as possible not to speak up. Wait for your turn to clear the air. Do you understand? So whatever it is the person is saying, just know that it is the person's opinion and suggestion. Let the person speak. Let them have their moment to air their views. You don't have to answer. Wait till it's your turn, please. I beg and I crave everybody's indulgence. Also, go ahead. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone for, for like coming in. Because the first thing is, I mean, everyone, we've, we've been around each other for a, for a little bit now. And then one thing you all of you would have understood about me and my personality is I always stay calm. I always never like to let things get under my skin, regardless of the situation. And that's what I like this our gathering to be like. I like everyone to be able to say whatever they want to say, and for people to be able to give themselves some sense of restraint and hold, bite your tongue if you have to. Because the thing is, in, a, in any, any single, single family or situation you find multiple people in, everyone's personality is different. If we all look deep down into our own families, Personalities we have with our siblings or even dad and mom, they're all different, or aunties and uncles. So a family is a place where once you step into a family or any gathering, you check your ego at the door. You don't walk into a place with all the ego that you have. Life doesn't work that way. You can never get along that way. Life is too short. Can you imagine like when we're done, wherever we're done here, and then we, God forbid, one person's life gets cut short. And you remember like how, how you treated the person or how life was with you and the person when you were here. There's no way in this world you'd be happy with yourself. If we all look at life stories, and even when we watch movies and stuff, we've seen things like that happen to people. You never want to have a hard dying moment, oh, I wish I treated this person differently. You don't want to do that. Now, the fact that every single time we're having the same issues when it comes to food, and there's a saying that doing something over and over again is, is just insanity. That's what it is. Yeah. I just feel like everyone needs to take a step back. Yes, Katrina has been doing most of the cooking. But then also on the other side, on the other hand of it, it's okay for other people to walk in there and do whatever they want to do as well. <laughs> it's okay for others to walk in there and do whatever they want to do as well. Now. On the other hand of it again, if Katrina has cooked, it's important to appreciate that she did that. Because not if she doesn't have to do it in the first place. I'm not even gonna lie, since I came here, I've never walked into that kitchen to do anything. Most of the food I've eaten is either Dora helped me or what Katrina made. Yeah, yeah, basically that's just what all it's been. But the thing is, you have to be grateful and appreciative of all the small things that people do generally for every single person in this house. Because every single person here benefits from it. All the time, even before Lucy became head of house and she's cleaning the, uh, the kitchen and cleaning areas, you have to be appreciative of those things. Because ask yourself, if they don't do it, you yourself, you're not really, really willing to do it. Just look, because I always say to people, you can lie to everyone in the world, but the one person you can't lie to is yourself. Tell, tell, give yourself all the excuses. Yeah, like if they don't cook, I'll go to the kitchen and cook for myself. Deep down inside, you know that that's bullshit. Because you really don't want to do it. Life doesn't work that way. We all need to understand that this thing we are, why, like it's not a given to sleep and wake up every day. We all know that. So what I'm saying is, love one another. But I'm saying again, if you don't feel like you need to love one another, one another but be respectful of one another. On the table here today, we're hearing like, fuck this, fuck that. Everyone here is over 18. It's fine to use swear words. I get it. But what I'm saying is, I can hate you or dislike you. Hate is a huge word. But you can dislike someone, but be respectful of the person. Because that person is an adult the same way you are. Even kids. You need to respect kids as well. 
And as you say, I always tell people, there are three people that will tell you exactly how they feel about you. And that's kids, drunk people, and angry people. So before, when, you're, when your tempers are high, and you want to start blessing things out, take a step back and ask yourself, these things I'm saying, how deep is it going to hurt this person I'm about to say this thing about? Because the thing is, it's easy for us to throw words around. But you're hurting that person. On this same table with us now is Kaisha. Kaisha is the most yeah. misunderstood person in this house. And I was saying yesterday night that yes, Kaisha might be brash when she says things. Like she'll just tell you exactly no filter. She'll just tell you the way it is. But the one thing is Kaisha will always come back to apologize. And why I say that, why I use that word is not everyone that insults you would always come back to apologize. But at least she does that. So the thing is, ask yourself, do you want Ka Kaisha to be brash to you? Come back and apologize. Or do you want her to be brash to you? You and I have like back and forth. And then you guys are blowing the whole thing up. Because regardless of everything that's going to happen here, how long or short our stay is going, here is going to be, one thing that's going to be important is some of us here, or if not all of us here, may end up representing people one day. How do you want them to, to understand who you really are? Are you someone that's going to be petulant, or are you going to be someone that's going to be petty? You don't want that to be what your personality is going to be about. So please, the general idea behind me saying oh, everyone should come in here, or let's have this thing is, is the simple fact that do not love me, but be respectful of me. And that's what all of us have to do. Dislike people, that's fine. It's your life. But understand that everyone's personality is different. The simple example is, if you feel like your ego weighs 100%, drop 70% at that door and walk in here with 30. Because I feel like as humans, it's important to walk with some type of pride, like it's normal for you. It gives yourself some type of extra self-belief every day. It's okay. But nothing has to be by your rules or the way you feel like it has to happen. No family in this world works that way. It doesn't. And that's what this thing is. This thing here is a mini family of people with so many different personalities. That's what this place is. And when you have different personalities, there will always be clashes. But the one thing you need to do is to be respectful of one another. Because if we're not respectful, then this thing we're doing here, we're just, it's just a huge charm. That's just what it is. Because you can't come to someone one time, smile at the person, and then when you're angry, you are hurting that person. That simply means that deep down inside, you have that thought process of that person already. That's why kids are blunt. They'll tell you things exactly how they see it. Drunk people are under the influence. They'll tell you things exactly how they see it. Angry people are under some type of influence. They'll tell you things just to hurt you. So please, for the love of God, be respectful of one another. And I feel like this place is going to be a better place. Don't love one another if you feel like you don't have to. But please, 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 just be respectful for each other as much as you can. Thank you.